Windows 11 just got smarter and more secure. Imagine having an administrator account that acts like a standard user by default, but steps up securely when needed. That's the magic of administrator protection. In today's video, we'll explore what this feature does, how it works, and guide you to enable it using both the security app and group policy. If security matters to you, stick around. You won't want to miss this. Whenever we install an app on our PC, we see the UAC prompt. This prompt asks you if you provide the admin privilege to run this app. When you click yes, the app gets administrator privilege to install. However, if the app is malicious, it can harm your system, including downloading malware with the same admin privilege. To encounter this problem, Microsoft has introduced administrator protection in Windows 11. Currently, it is introduced for the Windows Insider's Canary channel for the testing, but soon it will be available to all users. It enhances the security of admin accounts by limiting privileges to just when they're needed. Admin accounts are powerful, but can also be dangerous. They're prime targets for malware or accidental system changes. This feature ensures admin level tasks require explicit approval, reducing risks, and giving you more control over your system. Before explaining how it works, let's see how to enable it. There are two methods to enable admin protection. If you are using Windows 11 Pro or Enterprise, you can enable it from the group policy, or if you are using Windows 11 Home, you can enable it from the Windows security. Note that this feature is not yet available to all users. You need to be on Windows Insider Canary Channel with build 27,774 or higher. Let's use the group policy first. Press the Windows plus R button to open the Run dialog. Type gpedit.msc and hit Enter. This will open the local group policy editor window. Next, navigate to Computer Configuration, Windows Settings, Security Settings, Local Policies, and click on Security Options. Now in this pane, look for User Account Control, Configure Type of Admin Approval Mode, double-click on it. Here you can see the default option selected legacy admin approval mode. Change it to the admin approval mode with administrator protection. Click apply and OK. Now restart your PC and it will be enabled. If you are using Windows 11 Home, you won't be able to access the group policy editor. So you can enable it from the Windows security. Click on the start menu and search for Windows security. Open it. Here go to the account protection tab. Look for Administrator Protection and click on Administrator Protection Settings. Now use the toggle switch to turn it on. Restart your PC and the admin protection will be turned on. Now let's see how it works. To compare the difference between UAC and admin protection approval, I will first show you how it behaves using the old UAC approval method. I have disabled the admin protection. So when I launch a program installer, the UAC prompt asks if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. When you click yes, the app runs as a main administrator user. Let me show you the username and if it is an administrator or not. I am running the who am I command. Here the user's name is window and it is a member of the administrators group. Let's run the process explorer to view how this program is running as. You can see it is running as the same administrator user. Now let's enable the administrator protection back and see the difference. When I am running the installation, it here is showing Windows security instead of user account control. And you can authenticate it using the PIN or password. Let's enter the PIN. The program is running. Let's check the current username. And it's the same, the username is the same. Let's check on the process explorer. The running process is not at the same user. It is running under a temporary admin underscore window user. So you can see the difference. Administrator protection enforces the principle of least privilege. By default, even admin accounts function as standard users. When admin privileges are required, you'll receive a prompt to authenticate or approve the action. Once approved, Windows creates a temporary isolated admin token. This token only lasts for that specific task and is destroyed afterward. To make things even clearer, Windows uses color-coded prompts to visually indicate the level of risk so you always know what's happening. Administrator protection is a small but mighty feature that makes a big difference in security. 
Whether you're a casual user or an IT professional, enabling this feature adds an essential layer of protection to your Windows 11 system. What do you think about this feature? Let me know in the comments. If you found this guide helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more Windows tips, and ring the bell icon to stay updated. Until next time, stay safe and secure.